simply getting started. Cause we ain't got no time to waste. I don't mind. So ML Pavel was just announced he'll be coming next after the current banner. So we're going to go ahead and look at what he does in game. If you guys are new to the channel, why don't you hit the like button and subscribe as we check out his kit. And I'll talk about if I'm going to be summoning or attempting to summon for him or not. Because I won't be able to hit hard pity, but that doesn't mean I can't do a couple multis for him if I do choose to summon. So let's go check him out. Everything I do is for the good of Perlin. For an insignificant person like you. Death is too kind a gift. I'm with Perland. Interesting. So he is a light ranger, okay. Pillar of Perland, Commander Pavel, is trying to I don't really care about back or as much aristocrat. And eventually there. rose to the rank of so his idol is this him sitting there with his, his hat i kind of like the old paddle more just caught visually looking when it comes to like what he like what he has like that wolf thing was really cool but this guy is definitely kind of nice uh it looks like he's got an attack imprint so does do we get to see let's see okay so here it is light ranger hilarious okay or hilarious 109 speed, a bit slower. Uh, that There's a reason for this. I'm pretty sure that he's a bit slower. Because I'm pretty sure the other Pavel's also pretty slow when it comes to his uh, base speed, I believe. I have to check in a second, but we'll check. Uh, pretty high attack, I think. That's pretty good attack. Uh, decent health. 23% uh, crit chance. So he's got a little above crit, uh, normal crit chance, which is nice. It makes it a little bit easier to build. 150 critical damage, like uh, normal. Attack and print, attack and print. I'm not. I like these. I do. I like his stats. I do. I, mainly because I think there's a reason why they're. Uh, there's a reason why they're doing this. I think, and that's because he doesn't want to be the opener, but he wants to be the executioner on the cleave teams. So he wants to go like third, theoretically speaking. I believe. Um. All right. So this is his S two. At the start of the first battle, gain sixty fighting spirit. So he's a fighting spirit unit. I feel like most MLs are at this point. Uh, after an ally except for the caster makes a critical hit, gain 20 fighting spirit. And when fighting a spirit or when a fighting spirit is full, consumes all fighting spirit to be or to activate, be gone. This effect is not activated by counter attack, dual attack, or extra attack. So no counters, no dual attack, no extra attack. Okay, so you need to hit two crits. So you need two units, because you can't just AoE crit, that'd be too easy. So you're gonna have to use two different units in front of this guy to make it where he can use be gone so theoretically you can open up the ran followed by i don't know i guess normal pavel we'll just say for this case and then this pavel could walk up and be the uh, chad to finish everyone off right so opener sub opener and then i guess i guess sub opener is would be what you call your second fastest unit and then he would be your third fastest unit on the field so you need to build him on a crit team very interesting. So be gone. Increases attack of the caster for two turns and attacks all enemies by firing a gun before increasing combat readiness of the caster by 50%. He's giving himself 50% CR boost, huh? That's insane. You're going to be lapping people. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. Uh, this, this skill is really awesome. The only thing that I need to figure out and we need to see in playtesting is how easy it is and how hard it is to build a team around this uh, this effect. Getting two crits before this guy goes. I don't know if that's an end-all or be-all for him or if you can not worry about his S2 and just uh, or his passive and just go through his S3 and just execute uh, people. But honestly... Pretty good. I, I do like the idea behind this. I just wish it wasn't critical hit chance. I kind of wish you could just also hit the enemy. So you have openers like you could open up with Ran into Assyria and then into him. I think it'd be really cool. But I guess that'd be more easier to like, I guess that'd be more broken because then you just guarantee get like easier ways to open up into your S2 with him. So you gotta hit, hit you gotta get crit units to open up for him. So Pyrrha, Ran, and then have your secondary units that are the second fast on your team have a cr boost or something uh to help this guy get to his uh his own cr boost along with you know crit chance so 
gonna need the theory to craft some teams around him, but I feel like you just use Ran and Pavel. As long as you like in Guild Wars, Ran, Pavel, and Pavel. <laughs> and go attack something and see what happens. I don't know. Could be fun. Let's go on to his next skill. Uh actually I guess we get to see what it look what it looks like. Makes a critical hit. Commander Pavel gains twenty fighting spirit. And when Fighting Spirit is full, he consumes all of it to activate Be Gone. So they're doing this. This effect is not activated by counterattacks, dual attacks, or extra attacks. Be Gone increases attack of the caster for two turns, and attacks all enemies by firing a gun, before increasing oh, yeah. combat readiness of the caster by 50%. Okay. Skill 3. So, skill 3, his ultimate. Die, you fly. Um, acquires 3 souls, 5 turn cooldown. There's a soul burn effect, which makes it to where a skull cooldown is decreased by 2 turns. That's pretty awesome, actually. That's really good. Okay, so let's see what it does. Um, attacks the enemy with a pistol when the enemy is not a, an elite boss, or elite and or boss monster. So, they don't want you to use this guy against some, um, uh, PvE content. Strictly PvP. Damage sharing effects are ignored. When the caster attack is greater than the target's attack, penetrates the target's defense with a pen with the with penetration rate increasing proportional to the difference up to 70%. They want you to run this guy on attack set and just either attack set or critical damage, right? Because you don't need him to be on speed set. He doesn't need to be the fastest unit. So speed set, I don't feel like is necessary. I feel like attack set could actually work for this guy. Mainly because of the more attack you have, the more damage you're going to be doing with your penetration rates. So that would make it to where these free sets we've been getting could be pretty usable on him. Just for starter sets. And then you can eventually work into an actual attack set. Maybe. That or critical damage. Because technically speaking, critical damage would just make it where you can... Focus more on attack percent. Either or would be pretty good, I imagine, on this guy. Interesting. So uh, he's going to get more damage in the school. Nice. That's four turn. That's really good. That's actually pretty good. I like it because it means speed set's not the best on him. I think. I think. I guess, technically speaking, you could go speed set. And then don't roll speed on your actual, like, sub rolls. And just go for attack percent. But... Let me know in the comments below, what do you think his best set's going to be? Because I'm not thinking speed. I don't think speed's the way with this guy. I think he wants to go third on your team. Like, he's going to need to be semi-fast, but that 50% CR boost from his S2 makes it to where, even if you're, like, at 180 speed, you boost yourself up, you're going to be still going, like, you're going to still be hauling ass, right? So maybe 200 speed on him would be enough. I think 200 speed should be enough. 220 should be plenty enough, and you don't need a speed set to hit that i don't think die you fly attacks the enemy with a pistol when the enemy is not an elite or boss monster damage sharing effects are ignored when the caster's attack is greater than the target's attack penetrates the target's defense with the penetration rate increasing proportional to the difference up to a maximum of 70 percent when 10 soul is consumed this skill's cooldown is reduced by two turns I love that execution, man. That's really cool. Skill. All right, so skill one. Uh, how sloppy attacks the enemy with a gun blade with a sixty-five percent chance to decrease attack for one turn. You know that's not that bad of an effect. It's actually pretty awesome. Uh, well, technically you're getting an extra uh, ten percent, seventy-five percent chance to decrease the skill. Um, if you get to this, it's really awesome. But the way it's looking for this guy, I don't think the S one is going to be complete completely necessary because you got to think about how many attacks you're gonna be hitting with your uh beforehand before you even go into your s2 and s3 right so ideally just looking at his kits you're gonna use your opener your opener is gonna do probably some chunky damage get some crits off uh whoever that is i think ran is best case scenario because that way you can attack buff and you probably will add the attack buff to him anyway because he should be your highest attacker on the team theoretically you'd use your second unit uh, whoever that might be, normal Pavel, um, just another fast unit, even like Pavel, uh, for context sake, you could say haste, because uh, he does need the crit, um, any op any fast second units on the cleave team could work, uh, pick your options, there's a bunch of them, as long as they're faster and Pavel, it should work, therefore, getting your second crit, 
who knows how healthy the enemy is then, is then by then. Then you go into Pavel doing his S2 for free, into his S or going into his S2, which is going to also AOE. So that's that's just a bunch of AOE damage flying through, theoretically speaking. And then you go into his S3 and execute someone. So like Apoc or Avi could die. I think what's another threat that could be pretty uh scary? I don't know. High Young could be probably dead. I think any tank that you aim this at, as long as he's built to do damage, should just die. Which is kind of cool to see, because like I think the Cleave team has been needing this. Just like that Executioner-style unit. A little tricky to build around, because you got to think of what units you're going to run. you got to think if you're going to be running any CR pushes. You're gonna be, like, you got to really think about what units you're going to be utilizing to make him work. However, I don't think he needs to be put on a full-on Cleave team. Too. You could theoretically throw him on a team with D-Lilibit. Uh, purposely go against the Conqueror Lilius, have D a little bit open, see our pusher team, and still open up a different type of like styles of play. Like there, there are other options for this guy to play around, but I do think the Cleave team is going to be his core team for the most part because you need the crits. High Young is not critting, Samurai Siri is not critting. There are those units that don't crit, but if you build him on the proper team, he might be just like the, the the winner of the match because he's just doing the damage necessary to finish the match off for you. He's not exactly going to be the reason why you win every game, but he's going to be the reason why you just take out a core unit like Apoc, Ravi, or whatever that unit is to make sure that the enemy does, doesn't have a way to come back. So I think like he's just like that execution style unit, which is really cool. I kind of like him, but I'm still curious to see what his best set is, because I don't think you need to put him on a speed set. I think you can put him on an attack set or a crit damage set, and he should be theoretically uh, better statted that way, because you don't want him to be the fastest. You just need him to be fast enough to go third, which is kind of nice. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, we get to see his S3, I think, one more time, I think. Players will be able to meet Commander Pavel. Hold on. We'll go right the here. shining pillar of Perlin's future. Players will be able to meet Commander Pavel through the Mystic Summon Death starting September 1st. September 1st. Thank you. Alright guys, so after looking around at my gear sets and whatnot, I think you might need to put them on speed just for that extra 25% increase. I do not think you need them to be fast as hell though. I think ideally... Like, maybe, like, here's the thing. My Arya is on 179 speed on a lifesteal set, but her rolls are not the best. D little bit's on a speed set, but she's only at 215. Um, I think if you go with a good set, like, a really well, like, built, um, set, just for example, uh, do I have any good examples? Because my gear's not really, like, crazy. Like, you could theoretically go on an attack set, right? You could. The only thing you'll have to make sure you do is put him on speed boots then, right? Because you're going to need definitely need to put him on speed boots for to make up the, the speed that you could be lacking. And then you would need very good speed substats. But I think 200 speed could be enough. Or around 210 should be enough with how his S2 works because he is giving himself, you know, that push, that 50% push. So I think if I do pull him and uh, mess around with him, I might go for a slower pa Pavel and build him more for his attack and round out his crit trance and crit damage, right? So depending on how you want to build this guy. Speed is definitely a good set for him because, you know, the faster he is, you know, obviously the easier you can just build your teams. But if he's too fast, you might run into some issues. So I'm looking at my Pavel right now. My, my other Pavel is at 228 speed. I definitely want him slower than that. So I think 210, 215 is probably where I'm going to aim for his speed to be around. So when he gets that 50% CR push um on he he's still going right after that push right so i think you want him around 215 speed at most maybe 220 depending how good your count is like if you're like newer like me still and it hasn't even been a year yet i think slower is probably a bit better as long as he's above this 200 marker um the slowest i think you could probably make him work is like 
I don't even want to throw a number out because I, I don't know. I honestly don't know how slow you could go with him. Uh, 200 bare minimum, maybe. Like, maybe 190? I don't know how much lower you can go below that because you still want to go first before your enemies. But you do want to utilize that CR push in your kits and use that flexibility to get more attack, obviously. So your S3 does hit a bit harder. So what I'm going to do is if I do pull him, if I get lucky enough and I do pull him, I'll, I'll tinker around with some attack sets. I'll tinker around with some crit damage sets. See what I can make up for some... Uh, uh, make up with these builds and uh, if i if i do find that sweet spot that just works uh for like guild wars or arena or whatever it is because i'm not an rta player yet you have to go ask more veteran players what their honest th thoughts are but I, I don't think you need to have them like you know oh my god he needs to be the flash right he's he doesn't need to be the flash which is a good thing but you do need him to be fast enough to go third because you need to open up crit use a second unit crit and then go into your pavel so I'm looking. I'm looking at my units right now, and I think I think anything below two ten or at max two ten should be enough because you need to, you need to keep that ten speed gap. That way, your units don't mess up their rotations. So, looking at my account, if I was able to, you know, theoretically get this guy to two thirty speed, uh, my my first my my actual Pavel, that means I could get my other Pavel at two twenty speed. You know, try to try to keep that ten gap difference. That way, he always goes third. So, as long as you have him go third on your team and you have fast openers and crit units. I feel like it'll work just fine. For a set, once again, it kind of depends on what you have access to, but I, I don't I don't know if you need a speed set. Like you might need a speed set to hit that marker, uh, because like it would be pretty hard to push yourself to that place without like good substats. But let's say theoretically you had a good attack set that had really good speed substats, you could probably make it work. Same thing with crit damage, right? you could probably make it work. But uh those are the three sets I'm looking at is speed, crit damage, and attack. Um just to see what works and what doesn't. Honestly, most people will probably put them on speed, which is probably going to be the easiest way to build them, just because you don't need, like, you can just put the speed down on them, get the 25% bonus, and aim for, you know, uh, pieces like this, where it's got, oh, not this piece, but uh, attack, crit damage, like, pieces like my ran as, like, crit chance, crit attack percent, critical damage, and a little bit of speed on the side, right? Just a little bit of speed. This would be a great piece for him, actually, because he doesn't need to be super fast, but this would give him a lot of attack, a lot of crit damage, a lot of crit, uh, chance. This would be an ideal, like, piece for him on speed set. Maximize that attack percent, maximize your crit damage, get him as high as you can on this, like, on your crit chance, crit damage, attack stats and try to get his speed to a decent spot so he's just number three and he's able to execute someone with that uh attack difference for that uh penetration so looking forward to him um hope i get him but honestly probably won't because i'm pretty unlucky i had to go hard pity for d a little bit so uh he might not be for me this year we'll see how luck goes uh i probably will try to summon for him just because i think he's cool but honestly apoc robbie is probably the better play personally so if i don't pull him i won't be heard about it but i do think he's a cool unit so uh, yeah let me know what you guys are going to summon for him or if you guys are going to skip him once again i do think he's pretty cool and he, he theoretically speaking he should be a bit easier to build because he doesn't need to be the fastest unit he just needs to have high attack and i think he's good to go so uh we'll see how people build him we'll see how uh you know people are utilizing him and uh see what he or how much he hits the meta or how how hard he hits the meta when he uh gets here and people actually you know max him out so i'm excited to see what he does and i think he's pretty cool so thanks for watching guys uh you guys have a good one peace